Well, I knew something was up when um, my family was looking at me somewhat strangely. Mm -hmm. And I remember probably about 10 years ago, my father and I were sitting down. I was hosting a show in Canada and he was having a moment and I was crying about something intense for me, um, which he'd gotten used to, I suppose, at that point. He said to me, uh, he said, Alanis, I'm so sorry. We just never really knew what to do with you. We were at a loss. Yeah. Something about that moment and his authentic expression of that to me, it uh, validated a lot of my having felt um, alone in a, in a world where I felt misperceived and misunderstood. And I knew that there were a handful of things that if they were taken into consideration that I would be my best self really consistently. And equally if I were to be in environments where I was shamed for what I now see as talents and, a, and a, a gorgeous trait, frankly. Um, had I been in environments where it had been supported, it would have been a lot easier for me and I wouldn't have felt so shame-ridden. Alanis now enjoys advocating for causes she has found to be of central importance. One is attachment parenting. Also, because like her, her son is highly sensitive, she is deeply interested in parenting sensitive children. Alanis told me that she and her husband Solai know that one key to parenting their son ever is, in Alanis's words, honoring his every feeling and letting him feel it through. Another is preventing his becoming overstimulated. If Alanis and Ever both need downtime, then Solai, not having the trait himself, can readily take over. Teamwork. <laughs>